Differences in the spectrum of steroidogenic enzyme inhibition between ozolodrostat and metiripone in ACTH-dependent Cushing syndrome patients by Bonet Serrano et al. Background ACTH-dependent Cushing syndrome, CS, is primarily treated through surgery. When surgery is not indicated or is insufficient, pharmacological management is required to control the cortisol excess and its associated complications. Metiripone is an 11-beta-hydroxylase inhibitor, which has been used successfully in such cases for many years. However, it frequently causes side effects such as hyperandrogenism in women and needs to be administered up to four times a day. Ozolodrostat is an 11-beta-hydroxylase inhibitor recently approved for treatment of CS. Aims of the study To compare the difference in potency and steroidogenic profile between the two drugs in patients with ACTH-dependent CS. Methods This was a retrospective case study including patients who had an adrenal steroidogenic profile and were treated with either drug. Results Hypocortisolism was found in 48% of patients treated by ozolodostat and 7% of those treated by metiripone. 11 deoxycortisol and androstine dione levels were higher in patients treated with metiripone. Testosterone levels in women were also higher in this group. Steroidogenic enzyme activity was assessed by substrate to product ratio. 21 hydroxylase and 17 alpha hydroxylase activity were significantly decreased in the ozolodostat group. Conclusion and importance. This is the first study to compare steroid profiles between metiripone and ozolodrostat in a clinical setting. Both drugs' main mode of action is 11-beta-hydroxylase inhibition. However, ozolodrostat could also have an inhibitory effect on both 21-hydroxylase and 17-alpha-hydroxylase. Consequently, adrenal insufficiency is more frequent with ozolodrostat, while hyperandrogenism is more severe with metiripone. These clinical differences could help guide clinicians in choosing the most appropriate treatment for each individual patient. To read the full article, please follow the link provided or scan the QR code.